Um, this video talks about VBA string functions. We're going to be doing quite a bit with string functions because they're really useful. And what I like to do is just first kind of go through the code here and take a look at it. First thing you'll notice here is I declared a variable to store a string. Um, I've declared another variable to store the result from our string functions. And a third variable here just to restore, to store a number, which we're going to see down below from our string functions. This next line actually stores the string into memory. It's just some kind of random string here with a bunch of letters and numbers and so on. So that stores that. And the next line is our actual first string function. You'll notice the left function. Um, basically, in Visual Basic, a function is going to return a value. You should always just think that anytime somebody talks about a function, it's going to return a value. And then we need to do something with that value. So in this case, the value is assigned to the variable on the left-hand side here. So you'll notice this function has the parentheses after the name of the function. Most functions will always have parentheses, even if there's nothing inside the parentheses, just like functions in Excel. And these are the two arguments to the function. We're passing in the string that we stored, and then we're passing in the number 3. So this is a fairly simple function. Basically, it says return the leftmost three characters. This next one returns just one character, the leftmost character. So it should return the A, of course. The right function is similar, but it returns the characters on the right-hand side of the string. So we're saying, I'd like to get back four characters. And then here's another example saying, just give me the last character in the string because it grabs the rightmost one character. The mid function is a little bit uh, more interesting. The mid function lets you p tear a piece out of the middle of a string. So in this particular case, we're saying, we'd like to start at character 2 and return four characters. Um, strings all start counting at the first position as 1, not 0. Don't. If you've programmed in another language, VBA starts counting at 1. So this would be the second, third, fourth, and fifth characters of the string. This next example is similar to the one we just saw with mid, but it leaves out how many characters you want. It basically says start at character position 12 and just give me the whole rest of the string. So that's kind of nice for grabbing a part of a string on the right-hand side. You might want to spend a minute to contrast this to the right function, because the right function is quite a bit different in the sense of how it grabs characters counting from the right side. The next function, this next function is quite simple. It just tells you how many characters are in the string. The in-string function is very useful. It allows us to peer into a string and search for a substring. So in this case, we're looking for the substring 567 in our original string. And the first argument you see here tells where to start looking. You can change that. So let's say you wanted to start looking at position 5. You'd put a 5 there, of course, and it would actually start at position 5. The next one does a very similar thing. It's just looking for the dash. The next one, also similar, looks for the pound sign. When it does not find a substring, like in this case, there's no pound sign in our string, it returns the zero. So keep that in mind. That's an easy thing to memorize, right? And finally, this last one shows just searching for another string. This time, we're searching for the string at the end. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd just kind of like to show you what these things return. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what these return when this actually runs. So here we have our string functions in our code. and the very first one, notice, returns the ABC, the leftmost three characters. The next one is going to return just the leftmost one character, the A. The right function, of course, returns the right four characters. So that's the, the rightmost four characters. And this next one, of course, just returns the rightmost one character. Now mid lets us take a piece out of the middle. So starting at character position 2 and a length of 4. Don't think that goes to position 4. That is a length of 4. The next one starts at character position 12, does not specify a length, and simply grabs the entire right-hand side of the string starting at position 12. Again, contrast that to the way right works. They're, they're quite different. And then finally, we just grab the length of that string, which is 19 characters. In string returns where in a string a substring starts. So the 567 starts at position 7 in our substring. 
the minus or the dash starts at position 12 in a substring. The pound sign does not exist in the substring, so we get back a zero for that one. And finally, then, we search for Bob, and Bob is at position 17 in our substring. Notice it's a 19-character string, so 17, 18, and 19 are the last three characters of that string. Now, you should definitely type in this code and run it. And obviously, as we've talked many times before, you can run it with the F8 key. And what's kind of nice about the F8 key is that as you step through it, you can hover your mouse cursor on top of the variable and see what the variable is after that assignment takes place. Remember, the yellow highlighted line has not yet executed. So notice result here is the empty string because I haven't assigned anything to it yet. But as soon as I execute this statement, the result is ABC, and then I execute the next statement, and I get the A, and I execute the next statement, I get one Bob, and then I can get the next statement, I get the B, and the mid is the BCD, BCDE. So again, I strongly recommend you key this code in, play around with it, step through it, and make sure you understand what these string functions are doing. Thank you.